YouTube, my name's Erica. I was um, wanting to make a video blog about my miscarriage. Um, I'm just going to start out by saying that I had an IUD in and it was in for two years and um, my husband and I decided it was time for us to try for a baby and um, so I got the IUD removed in May and on July 12th um, I found out I was pregnant and um, that was very exciting and on August 5th was my first um, doctor's appointment and um, we went to that and everything looked fine with the baby the baby was measuring six weeks and it should have been measuring eight weeks um, but I just I didn't think anything of it I thought that was normal and um, we did see the heartbeat and so that was very exciting um, but about three weeks later I started spotting and I didn't think anything of it I called the doctor and the doctor's like that's fine it's normal to spot and um, so it then became um, a little bit darker and was actually like blood now and not just spotting so I was concerned about that I called the doctor again and um, he scheduled me an appointment for the next day I went to the appointment and um, I was telling him that like the Saturday before I wasn't feeling my pregnancy symptoms like I was before I didn't feel pregnant anymore I felt like my old self and um, so he you know why he why we were talking about that he got the Doppler to check the baby for the baby's heartbeat um, we didn't hear a heartbeat so he then did an ultrasound um, he did like the regular one, I don't know what it's called. And then he had to do the va transvaginal ultrasound because we couldn't find the baby. And um, so he had to send me down the hall to a specialist. Um, I went to the specialist and I knew that something was wrong if I had to go to the specialist because we did see the baby the first time through the transvaginal. So we went to, I went to the specialist and um, she wasn't talking to me she was just doing the ultrasound um, I could see the baby up there but I didn't see the heart flickering and um, like I knew the baby was gone I didn't know that could actually happen I've never had that happen before I didn't I never heard about that like ever you know a heartbeat going away then you you start bleeding and lose the baby I've never heard about that um, I've had a miscarriage before when I was really young and um, it just came like I just started bleeding and it just came so this one was really really difficult for me to deal with um, I've been dealing with it the best way that I can um, it's just really difficult so I'm just gonna keep going um, the doctor then sent me down the hall back to my doctor and he went in there and he told me that the baby was gone and there wasn't a heartbeat and the baby hadn't grown since the first time that we saw him when it was measuring at six weeks so I was trying to hurry up and get out of there as fast as I can and before I left he did tell me that I would need a DNC um, if I didn't want to have the DNC and have it at home, I could. Um, the only thing with that is, with my two kids, I bled more than a normal delivery. Um, with my daughter, I with my daughter, I hemorrhaged, and with my son, I bled a little more than normal. So I was really concerned that I would overbleed at home. So I was terrified of having surgery. Um, I told him that, and he's like, that's normal, you know. And uh, he was really comforting. Um, I soon got out of there. And um, I was texting my husband in the waiting room, like, when I was waiting for my doctor to go back over there and tell me what had happened. And I, as soon as I got to the car, I mean, I was running down the 
the halls in the hospital just trying to get to my car as soon as possible so that I could just cry and let it all out. I mean, I was crying in the doctor's room, but when I got to the car is when, you know, you just let it out. And um, on my way home, I called my husband to tell him the news. And it was really hard to tell him that, especially over the phone, but I had been texting him every update that I had. Uh, in the room so I think maybe he knew too already but I'm I'm not sure and anyhow um, I was scheduled for my surgery on that following Friday which was August 27th and um, at home it was really really horrible waiting um, because you know your baby's inside of you, but it's not alive and it's not growing. You don't feel like even eating because it's like, what are you eating for in a way? Like, yeah, you have to eat for yourself, but when you are you know that you eat because your baby's in there and your baby's growing, that makes you feel like, like you're actually doing it for a, you know, good reason. I don't know. I guess it was just after... After knowing that, um, I guess, I don't know, it took a while for it to like sink in, like I was crying, crying, um, going through the emotions, like the very next day I was super angry, I was like, how could this happen to me, but, like, I guess you just go through those emotions, so, about two weeks later is actually when my husband and I just both cried together. And that was really hard and it's been hard ever since but every day I just take it one day at a time and that's the only thing you can really do so I try to stay strong and I try I try to be hopeful and I guess just do my best but I do want to thank the other girls that help help me they helped me a lot on YouTube looking at their videos. It's really comforting. My husband would tell me, don't look at those videos because he thought that it was upsetting me, which I cried with the words that the girls were saying because I was living it too. So it wasn't that it was like my husband thought it was that it was, you know, putting me more in depression. It was actually just helping me grieve and go through the emotions and that's what helped the most. I mean, watching videos on YouTube and talking with the girls on other websites that are going through miscarriage or had miscarriages, it's just, those are the girls that helped me the most. And my family is there for me. They help me too. Um, but talking to people that go through the same thing that you go through and that you are feeling or they understand the pain, like, that's the best thing because you feel so lonely and you feel so alone like you're the only person in the world that had to lose their baby so that's just I just want to thank all the girls for that so um, it looks like I have a little bit of time I wanted to explain my um, DNC because when I was on YouTube looking for videos on DNC there wasn't too many specifically um, so I do want to explain my DNC but I might have to do that on another video so um, I think that I will do that just basically the DNC doesn't take very long um, well okay I guess that's it um, if you have any questions or comments or anything feel free to leave them um, I'm so willing to talk to people so that's good I guess so thank you guys bye